In this video, I'm going to walk through a couple of uh, grouping examples where there's a GCF. So if you look across this problem, you'll notice that 3 goes into all of these uh, numbers here, 3, 15, 6, and 30. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out a 3. So 3m cubed divided by 3 is 1m cubed, or just m cubed. Negative 15m squared divided by 3 is negative 5m squared. Negative 6m divided by 3 is negative 2m. And then 30 divided by 3 is 10. So I divide everything by 3. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring that GCF of 3 down so I don't have to worry about it anymore. And I'm going to now shift my focus to this new uh, polynomial that I have here. And I'm going to do grouping because I have four terms. So if we look at the first pair. They have in common an m squared. They have at least two m's. m cubed divided by m squared is m. Negative 5m squared divided by m squared is negative 5. Then if I look at the second pair, the largest number that goes into 2 and 10 is 2. And I'm going to make it a negative 2 because I know that when I divide here, negative 2m divided by negative 2, I want this to become a positive m to match. And I also want 10 divided by negative 2 to give me this negative 5 that I need to match this. These two terms are identical, so that means I did my factoring correctly. So I'll have my two factors. The first one will be the GCFs, so m squared minus 2. The last one will be the, the factor that they have in common, which is m minus 5. Minus five. So there's one example with a GCF. I'm going to go through one more example on the next page, page 29, that also has a GCF. So let's look at, at D, for example, right here. I know that 3 goes into all of these, so I'm going to go ahead and factor out 3. If I do that, I have now x cubed minus 3x squared plus x minus 3. Just divide everything by 3. I'm going to go ahead and bring that GCF of 3 down and have my two factors ready to go. And then I'm now going to do grouping with this polynomial that I have. So between the two terms, what they have in common is an x squared. x cubed divided by x squared is x. Negative 3x squared divided by x squared is negative 3. This is a 1 here on this x. The only thing that these two things have in common is that 1 goes into both 1 and negative 3. They don't have x's in common, so just a common factor of 1. 1x divided by 1 is x. Negative 3 divided by 1 is negative 3. These two factors match, so I did my grouping correctly. So I have x squared plus 1 as one of the factors, and then x minus 3 as the other. So there's just a couple of examples where you have to first factor out a GCF before you do your grouping.